what up good morning guys uh today we're gonna be installing some hood support struts so uh let's uh just jump right into it looks like it should be pretty simple you're just gonna need your standard tools you know uh nothing too freaking crazy but yeah so uh looks like i'll have to pull a little uh pin out uh of a ball joint to get it to fit properly and then reinstall that back in but other than that doesn't look too too hard at all got the instructions right here um that's where it says that i gotta pull the pin down there at the bottom but other than that i mean it's just gonna be some 10 mil bolts looks pretty straightforward pretty simple um the parts but yeah uh here's the brand right there looking pretty good and uh looks like it's carbon fiber wrapped uh it does have a little bit of weight to it but i mean i would expect that since it's going to be holding up a hood um yeah so let's let's get into it all right so i got it all set up right here so uh the struts will be facing this way to prop up the hood this right here this little piece is gonna attach to right there so i just have to replace the bolt right there and then slip that in um i already pulled out the oh focus the locking um little clip that goes into the balls right here um i'll show you that part when we get to it but then it looks like they sent you two different um like adjusters for this so it goes right in there see how it slides and then this one does the same thing but uh instead of just using one bolt uh this one right here covers both to give you extra strength so i'm actually gonna be using this guy because i do want that extra strength um and they even give you extra hardware uh, another bolt right here with washer which is pretty great to just install right there and then i'm just gonna move uh gonna bam bam install that one right there and then this one stays right where it's at all right let's uh get installing see how it looks because i mean i finished that really really quickly but uh yeah as you can see i got my two bolts right in there that ain't going nowhere um let's see where is it there's the safety pin that i put back in and then leading all the way up bam right up there to the next mount point looking good man I kind of want to take it off the hood and see if it'll support it, but I know I'd much rather just do the other side. So I'll do the other side and we'll, uh, we'll not do it in slow-mo and I'll walk you through it. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up this bolt down here. Bam. Let's get that broken. It's all just a matter of... Yeah. You know, it's pretty cool because I've always seen like cars with hood props like these, like the hydraulic ones, I guess you could say. Um, and I mean, I've always thought that they were cool. I'd never like would have been like, oh yeah, like I definitely need to have those or I want those, but I don't know for the element, like. Like, I think it just makes sense. Like, it feels like it's a better option than just having your standard hood latch. Um, I mean, it definitely makes it look a lot cleaner. Like, I'm looking at the other side of it right now. And, I mean, it looks 
It looks freaking nice, man. Right there. All right, and now with the hardware that they gave me, I'm gonna go ahead and put that bad boy. Ah. There we go. Wash up top. Oh yeah. And thread. Boom, got it. Heck yeah. Tighten that up. Install the top part. Oh, Hades. He doesn't like skateboarders. I don't know why. for the top part and it's cool because uh, I just noticed this but uh, there's an L right there for left so you know that it's for the left side you can't mess this up okay they, they've literally made it idiot proof so I think we're okay Hades So that's where I want that one. And right here, um, to take off the safety little cotter pin, I mean, they're not cotter pins, but we're gonna just call them cotter pins. So bam, hook it from the back. Okay, and then there's two holes. You can see it right there. You just slide it right on down. And then that comes out right there. And then same thing with the bottom one. All you gotta do is just push it and then it comes out and then you just slide it down all right pretty straightforward pretty simple and then uh bam lock that in until it pops looking good adjust this bad boy Excellent. All right. Pin goes back in. Safety. And pin goes back in. Coming down from the top. You want to make sure you get it through both of the holes so, bam there we go and just like that she's installed what it take five minutes if that I mean if you have power tools it'll probably go by even quicker but I just wanted to show you all you really need is just a 10 to knock it down um, yeah let's uh 
Let's give her a shot, see if she stays up and everything, huh? All right, let's uh, remove this. Bam. Well, she didn't fall on my face. That's sick. Look at that, what an install. Nice, all right, let's see if she closes. I don't want no problems here. All right, let's uh, pop her back open and see if she uh, opens up nice and easy. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Heck yeah. Dude, that is sick. I love it. Man. That is awesome. It takes you like 10, 15 minutes to get this done. Five minutes per side, have your 10 mil with you. I mean, definitely worth getting these. Uh, check them out on Amazon. Um, really cool, super easy to install. I mean, no complaints here, seriously. That is great to be best. Well, overall, I'd say that install was pretty easy, guys. Um, I'm gonna put the link down below in the description if you wanna check them out. Uh, they're pretty cool, definitely worth the grab. So uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around for this video and uh, hope you liked and uh, maybe you'll subscribe, stick around, maybe share it with a friend to help them install something on their element, you know? All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.